Each day, we need to go to the Lord and get cleansing from our sin. We sin every day. But what should you think about when you do that? Leviticus chapter 14 tells us exactly what we need to have on our mind when we go before the Lord and ask for cleansing. This was the procedure about what to do when a person who had leprosy or a contagious skin disease would be clean. And they would go to the priest and they would go through this elaborate ceremony that was a foreshadowing and really a picture of what Christ would do for us on the cross. They would take a bird, a heavenly being, and they would put it inside of an earthen jar and kill it in the jar while water is running over the jar. Then they would take the blood from that bird and sprinkle that on some cedar wood, some hyssop, and third, some red cloth. Why would God want them to do this kind of thing? Because in 1,500 years, another heavenly being, Jesus Christ, would come. He would be perfect, and he'd be put in the earth. Okay, And the fact that there's water running over this uh, is, is to show that Jesus was a perfect sacrifice. He was clean. Then his blood, uh, the blood of this bird, was put on three things. Cedar, hyssop, and a red cloth. Cedar was likely what the cross was made out of. It was a, wo a wood that is not really subject to corruption like other wood is. Hyssop. There was a hyssop branch on the cross that was offered to Jesus with some water on it. And then third, this scarlet cloth that was ripped from the top to the bottom. This was the temple, a veil that was torn. And they were supposed to think about what they were being applied with. This leper was applied with the blood of this bird from three things, the cedar, the hyssop, and the red cloth. Why? They were looking forward to the cross that Jesus would die on. They were looking forward to the Messiah. We, 2,000 years after Jesus, were looking back to what Jesus did. But we need to think about that. When we go before the Lord and we say, hey, we're sorry for our sins, we need to enumerate what those things are and think about the fact that Jesus had to die on the cross for our sins. What does that do? Well, what it does is it makes us grateful to Jesus, our Savior. Each time we come to Him, we ask for forgiveness. That's how we have fellowship with God and fellowship with Jesus every day. But secondly, it helps us with repentance. You see, it's easy for me to come to the Lord and say, oh, sorry for my sins, and not really be thinking about the fact that I can't do that again. I need to change. But when I think about the cross, and I think about the suffering, and I think about the, the cedar, the hyssop, the veil of the temple that was rent from the top to the bottom that allows us now to have access to the Father, it changes me. And you, we, you and I need to be changed when we go before the Lord and ask for forgiveness. Think about Leviticus chapter 14. Think about this ceremony they went through each time they were cleansed. Because this is what we go through each time God cleanses us with the blood of Jesus Christ.